Like many people, I found volunteering quite a dissatisfying experience. What I actually enjoyed was doing my own thing, working in small teams on bigger, more challenging projects, like, say, creating a curriculum of policy workshops in Burma. I worked in the bank one summer and found it excruciatingly boring. I just wanted to do something so much more entrepreneurial. So I went around events and found that there's so many entrepreneurial minds here in Cambridge. I just realized that they could be an enormous force for good in the developing world. So we thought, why not make it like a consultancy? Why not bring together small teams of the best students available, train them incredibly well and get them to work on the most difficult challenges of developing countries? We assembled a team of 10 people, many of them with considerable volunteering experience. Together we embarked on months of research to find the kind of projects we could employ. In the end, we settled on concentrating our initiative in Dar es Salaam, Tanzania. English speaking, stable and with a vibrant civil society, Dar es Salaam is the perfect location for our initiative. We shamelessly consulted experts available here in Cambridge. In doing so, we were able to gain invaluable advice and at times harsh criticism. Bringing together so many partners and mentors brought us closer and closer to turning our vision into reality. Closer to the chance of seeing how students can be involved in scaling up innovative development solutions, possibly the biggest challenge of development over the next decade.